What's up, YouTube? This is Detroit Borg, and today I'm sitting inside my 2011 Lincoln MKX with My Lincoln Touch, which is Ford's new infotainment system for their cars. And one of the great things about it is it supports Bluetooth audio, so I thought I'd give you guys a demo of Bluetooth audio working with the new iPad 2. So let's go ahead and get the car started. Now with my Ford Touch, the main display is divided into four quadrants, each quadrant representing a major function from navigation to climate to media to phone. Now I've disconnected my iPhone 4. My iPhone 4 is my primary device, but it's going to get in the way of this demo, so I've deactivated it. Uh, but what I can do is, is add more than one device. So what I'm going to do is add the iPad as a phone. Now we're not treating it as a phone. You can't make calls with your iPad. So let's go ahead and connect a phone or add a phone. Now Sync has given me an activation code and what I have to do on my iPad is go to Settings, go to General, go to Bluetooth, make sure Bluetooth is on, and I see Sync not connected. So let me tap Sync. Now I can enter my access code. So we can see that the pairing was successful and on my display it's now asking me if I want to use my iPad 2 3G as my primary phone and again this is not a phone so I don't want to do that so let's click no. Now you can see I have two Bluetooth devices. The iPhone 4 is my primary device and you can see that it's starred which means it's my favorite device so when I get into my car and if I have my iPad with me the iPhone 4 will connect first. You can only have one device connected at a time. If you want to use your iPad 2 you'll have to select it later. Now right now you can see the iPad 2 is connected so I'm ready to start using it. So let me tap the home key and get back to my main screen. Now from my home screen let's tap the media control panel this brings up my media controls and I have my device selection on the left so I have AM, FM which is the mode I'm in now. I have the volume down so you can't hear it. I have Sirius, CD, USB, Bluetooth and a few other options including SD card and AVN. Now what I want is Bluetooth but this is no fun just selecting a button. What's more fun is to use Sync's voice activated command. So if I choose, if I press the Sync button Bluetooth audio Bluetooth audio. Play. For your safety, please stay alert to changing road conditions and use Sync's voice activated features while your vehicle is in motion. You can also use the steering wheel D-pad to select your option from the display on the dashboard. So if I go up to entertainment, I can select from a list of options. So AM, FM, Sirius, CD, USB and Bluetooth stereo among others. So I want Bluetooth stereo. Select OK. So my Bluetooth audio stream is detected and I can now control it from the main screen. Now unfortunately with Bluetooth you have very limited functionality. You can you have basic media controls, play, pause, skip, forward, reverse, etc. Uh, if you want to control your content you'll have to do it on your iPad. Now using Bluetooth is somewhat similar to using AirPlay. So if I double tap the home key to bring up the widget controls you can see my AirPlay icon is illuminated. Now if I tap that, you can see Sync is checked and iPad is off right now, but Sync is checked, that means I'm broadcasting to the Sync system through Bluetooth. Now here I'm playing Coldplay and it's streaming directly to my car and I have very basic controls. Pause, play, skip, and fast forward. And of course you can do the same in reverse. Now unfortunately with Bluetooth you can't browse or select a song through voice command. So if I want to play an artist, play a song, play a track, album, etc. It won't work. You'll have to connect the USB and I'll show you that in a minute. The only problem with Bluetooth audio is lag. Now it's not important for playing songs but playing video uh, it becomes an issue. So I'm going to demonstrate that with typing. So I'm going to click notes. And like I say all audio from your iPad is broadcast through Bluetooth. So if I start typing and you listen, let me turn that up so you can hear it. So unfortunately that translates to video, so if you click play, I'm going to have to turn this down. Little thank you. I am simply acknowledging your difficulties. You can see there's quite a bit of lag here. I welcome it. Do you? 
It starts to get worse with uh, the longer the movie progresses, but you get the idea. It's not great for using movies, but it is doable. So if you can get over the fact that there's a second or two lag. Now the best way to access your media through my four touch and sync is just to connect the device directly with the USB. So I have uh, my cable here, which is normally connected to my iPod Classic, and we'll connect it to the iPad. Now we connect the iPad's USB, nothing noticeable happens on the iPad itself, but again if you bring up the control widget and go to the AirPlay icon, you'll see that dock connector is now available. So I have dock connector selected. Now with the iPad connected to USB, let's just tap USB. Now automatically you can see I have more information here. I have album art, I have an album name, and I have an artist name. I have a lot more information, but more importantly, I now have full access. I can browse my uh, media on the iPad so I can uh, browse by music, I can browse by artist, I have Coldplay, Parachutes, and let's do uh, Don't Panic. Now more importantly, this brings up voice command. So I can bring up a song just by speaking it. Now if I press the sync button, play song parachutes. Now unfortunately you cannot control the iPod app while it's connected through the USB cable. So if I go to iPod, instead I get the accessory connected screen. Now the only drawback to this system is that it only allows one Bluetooth connection at a time. So if you connect your iPad, you lose your connection to your phone. So this means you can't get your calls through the sync system and you can't use the sync system to make calls. Uh, but it's pretty easy to reconnect to your phone at any time. All you have to do is go to menu, go to phone, Bluetooth devices, and select iPhone 4. Connect. And now it's reconnecting to my iPhone 4. You can also delete a device, so let's select my iPad and click delete. Now you can also add devices by tapping menu, going to media player, selecting Bluetooth devices, add device, search for sync on your device, and then plug in your pin. Provided by sync. Alrighty guys, this is Detroit Borg with a look at Bluetooth stereo from the iPad 2 inside your car. Thanks for watching.